Hello everyone, Leonardo back at you again with another badass guitar. Today we're looking at a guitar that is not part of my personal collection, but it is something I put together for an amazing project. And it is not a Gibson SG. What you're looking at is a custom made, one of a kind, even cooler than a Gibson SG. It has all the basic elements of the guitar you know and love. Uh, the mahogany body, the mahogany neck, uh, you know, the rosewood fretboard, 22 frets, uh, dual humbuckers, the perfect weight distribution. Uh, other than that, we did a lot of things that made it completely different, one of a kind, and super, super sweet. Uh, from the top to the bottom, right? We'll run it down. We did a hand-painted, uh, made for AJ Dominguez up here, but we wrote it in Spanish because everything sounds so much more romantic in Spanish, yes? On the back of the headstock, we put my B to let you know that I'm the one who put the doll to get it. The Grover Deluxe Clouson style tuning pegs, which give you the old school look, but the modern functionality. They're a lot more reliable than the, um, than the old stuff. Uh, a bone nut. Uh, like I said, the bound fingerboard. We've got the snowflake inlays instead of the dot, trapezoid, or block inlays that you've seen. Uh, the snowflakes are just kind of nice, and they, they lend a cool look to it. Uh, of course, just one more thing you could do to be a little different. Um, you notice that there's not a giant pit guard. There's not a small pit guard. There's not a pit guard at all. Um, there's not even pickup mounting rings. We put the pickups in here, and they're Stuart McDonald, uh, kind of like a vintage hot, so like a goosed up PAF pickup. Still a good response, you know, but um, not screaming like an EMG or anything like that. Still very, uh, very full. Uh, they're mounted directly into the body with FU Tones pickup mounting system, which is this cool little uh, brass block that you stick into the you know cavity, and then it, it sets a height for you so that once you clamp the thing down, that sucker's in there solid as a rock. And I think it does something cool to the sound. It kind of gives a little bit more balls. Uh, that's the way I feel about it. Um, the bridge is different from a Gibson SG. Again, it's a Graftech Resimac wraparound bridge. And um, this thing is super, super lightweight, really strong. Uh, it's got a lot of room for intonation. Um, I think it just also lends a great visual look to the whole uh, project. And it just doesn't get in the way of the sweet paint job, you know. Um, the regular switch in the regular place, but just one overall volume control so nothing gets in your way when you're rocking. You can't hit a switch and then all of a sudden lose your sound, like could possibly happen with the individual volume controls if you forget, kind of get in the heat of the moment and then. All of a sudden, where'd my sound go? And you gotta switch it back. This way, you just crank it up, you crank it down, the guitar does what you tell it to. And uh, it still has individual tone controls. We move the output jack from on top to the side so that um, the strap and everything just gets out of your way. Visually, it's a better vibe. You just see the guitar kind of floating in space in front of you. And of course, let's talk about the finish, man. This finish is a sweet ass green satin with a racing stripe that nobody does wrap around racing stripes. And the thing goes around the whole body and it's super cool uh, three part stripe that matches up with the binding and um, you know more or less with the uh, the buttons up here and just you know vibe wise gives a super super awesome uh, vibe. <laughs> so it's just a cool thing to do, it's different. Uh, an example of what can happen with two kind of wacky imaginations come together and I want to show you what it sounds like and we're going to do some clean stuff, we're going to kick it up, and then we're going to kick it up even further, alright, so check this out.
There she is, dirty. There she is, clean. Another example of what can happen when you just get wacky with your imagination and want to rock it out. We're going to hit you again pretty soon with another guitar video. This one will be something from my own personal deal. Just wanted to show you what can happen, man. The sky's the limit. Rock it out. Hey.